Jim watched the leak drip. It dripped straight out of the ceiling, off the top of his Aunt Libby's bun, off the tip of her nose, and into her teacup. Hmm, said Jim, this leak must be stopped. So he quickly knocked together a little shelter for his Aunt Libby. He built it out of two by two, six inch nails, and bits of string and things. He then went to his bedroom where he dressed up as an explorer. He then went to his second bedroom where he plotted the route on the map. He collected some vital, absolutely vital, vital rations from the kitchen. And then he went to the telephone, rang up a few of his very favorite girlfriends, people like Tina and um, Lucy and Jenny and all that sort of lot. And then he was ready to set off. He opened the door. And to his astonishment, he saw the entire hallway was awash. He had to scale the staircase with all his ropes and things. And what a view from the landing! My, oh my! All the animals were leaving two by two out of the landing window. Further up the hall, he found a log. Hmm, said Jim, tricky. I quickly um, dug himself a little dugout canoe with his Swiss Army pocket knife, and then he was ready to set off out into the massive oceans. For days and days he was tossed around by gigantic storms and ghastly things, until one day he came to the bathroom door. Here he had to fight with some terrible, nasty monsters. He killed them all one by one, and then passed through the keyhole and out into the bathroom. Good Lord, said Jim, some stupid, stupid idiots left the taps running. I don't believe it, said Jim, it's, it's Uncle Don and sound asleep. He quickly moored his little canoe up against Uncle Don's neck, scaled his huge hairy neck and then shouted loudly, loudly, loudly into his ear. Then he was falling, 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 falling. Good Lord, said Uncle Jim, I must have fallen asleep and left the taps running. Well done, Jim, you have stopped a serious leak. So off he went to bed with his old team cakes, feeling very, very complacent and pleased with himself, and that's only fit the end of that.